Ended. Call Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, anyone who listened to the last speaker would realise what a complicated task Mike Saban and I have had getting to grips with the work of the Regulatory Review Committee, <laughs> because he totally confused me. <laughs> but, but I also want to just uh, thank uh, both of our team leaders, uh, in, uh, Katrina Shanks and certainly Charles Chevelle, for enlightening us uh, as to what this bill is all about, as we clearly weren't part of that uh, select committee at the time this bill came into the House. And uh, I want to comment on the time that this bill has taken to come through the House, because I think we've got to realise, uh, as a House of Representatives, that we're here forever. We come and go as individuals very quickly, but time's here forever. And so, really, when you think, you know, some of you have been around a fair while, actually. But, but <laughs> it, it, is, <laughs> it is worth remembering that this bill was last reviewed in 1908. So I don't really think that there's a great difficulty, I don't have great difficulty with the 104 years it's taken to uh, come back to the House, Mr Speaker. Uh, the, <laughs> I'm not surprised, given the last speech we just heard. Well, uh, I, <laughs> I think if one is to um, improve... Uh, our key, really, is to, is to improve the public's understanding of legislation. And I think, I think that's one of our great tasks as parliamentarians and as lawmakers, is to ensure that people understand the laws we make. I think it's also important that we put laws in plain English, so, in other words, they're easy for people to get a grasp of. So, so I think this bill, from that perspective, is really important. I was amused to find in the mention uh, in the introduction to this bill where it talks about thematically going through things. And I had to look up the meaning of thematically because I didn't know what it meant. Uh, I found out what it meant in the end. And actually, when you think about going through things thematically, it's probably a better way than going through them uh, in, in an order of clauses because my understanding of a lot of the legislation we put through this House, it's very difficult to follow by clause by clause because the clauses aren't necessarily done thematically. And so I, th I think there's some sort of sense in going through things thematically, so I was a bit intrigued with that. Uh, I suspect there are nearly 1,200 different laws governing our country, and we need to know that law, we need to understand them. If we don't understand them as, uh, as people in our communities, we have great difficulty fitting into society. And so for this to happen, as I've said already, we need to ensure they're well written and clearly espoused by our lawmakers. Our lawmakers, of course, are us. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm going to read one uh, line from, uh, or bit more than one line, fr from some notes I've got here because I think they're critical to, uh, they espouse the whole reason for this um, Regulations Review Committee and the reason for this law. And it says, it preserves the independence of the Parliamentary Council, which is responsible for ensuring, so far as it can, the primary legislation enacted by Parliament and secondary legislation made by the executive reflect the fundamental concepts inherent in the rule of law and that legislation passed based on legal principle is effective and clear and can be accessed easily by the public. And I think that really encaptures the basis of what this uh, legislation bill is all about. So I think, Mr Speaker, that's really important. The bill also does away with three of those 12 or nearly 1,200 current acts and merges them into one. I think that's positive as well. So, Mr Speaker, without uh, going any further into the uh, legislation's bill's parameters, because that's been well covered this morning, I have great pleasure in supporting the movement of this bill through the House. Uh, Dr Megan Woods. Thank you, Mr Speaker.